Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 131 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, I just want to give a huge, massive thank you for the support in the last episode. It just always means the world to me, so thank you so very much. Now, let's get into the questions, starting with Proj Forever. ASA, what is your favorite Lego shooting system? I'm pretty sure it's called a arrow shooter. I absolutely love those things. Those things were so cool back in the day. I don't know if Lego really uses them ever anymore. Does anybody even remember the Lego Star Wars action battle sets? Like, those things are actually really cool, and honestly, I think they're underrated. But I'm gonna go with that. I'm pretty sure it's called an arrow shooter. Probably, honestly, the most accurate shooter Lego has ever made. Next question is from Clumpus. Do you think Lego will ever release a new shooting system? Honestly, I think so, because Lego always is trying to come up with new ideas. Like, they're always reinventing the wheel, essentially. I think it's likely possible that we will see a new shooting system in the future because I mean the most recent one I believe is the new stud shooter and honestly it still looks ugly but I think they will it's just question is will it look good probably not next question is from Alex de Brima ASA what is your opinion on building mocks yourself slash buying instructions and building mocks from other people for an example vehicles which Lego hasn't done before or will probably never do in the future since it's no longer canon or just too niche Honestly, I kind of have a lame answer for this one, but I don't really do anything with mocks. I don't build mocks myself. I definitely don't buy instructions from other people and build their mocks. I don't really even watch a lot of mock videos or anything. I'm just not really into that. I've only ever built one mock in my entire life, and that was my Imperial Potato Farm like five years ago. Still have that thing, and I love it, but it's just so basic. It's it's just a potato farm, like whoop de doo but of course, potatoes are cool, right? Yep. Next question is from Brick Collection ASA. If Lego made a buildable Harrison Dula figure, would you buy it? Yes. Yes! Come to Papa! Absolutely, I would buy it. That would just be absolutely awesome. I wouldn't buy it necessarily just because I'm a weirdo, but also because I just like to buy pretty much every Lego Star Wars set that releases in a year. So it would be part of the collection, you know? Yes. And the last question is from Building and Chatting Podcast. ASA, what do you think the dioramas are going to be next year? And do you think all of us on the Building and Chatting have predicted most of the Revenge of the Sith ones for next year? So as far as I'm aware, the rumors go that there actually aren't going to be any dioramas next year, which honestly is kind of sad, but we are supposed to get helmet sets again. I personally prefer the helmet sets over the dioramas. I'm not too, too sure, but I don't think we're getting any dioramas next year and I kind of don't really see that as a big loss. So whatever. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you for all your wonderful questions. If you have a question for the next episode, leave it down below in the comments. And while you're down there, consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I know boring stuff no one likes to hear, but it helps out a lot. So thank you all so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.